All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, just coming here to show you how to change the uh, cabin air filter on a 2017 and up uh, F250. Uh, part number is uh, FP-79. I'm using the Ford Motorcraft one. Yeah, you can get K&N whenever you want, but I just use the stock one. What you do is you open your glove box. There's a little bar right here. And on the other side of that bar is a little knob. So what you're going to do is kind of try to do this one-handed now. I probably won't be able to. But you just put your, uh, you just lift up a little bit, and then you pull down on this, and you heard it snap, and then then you can pull it out that hole right there. Okay, so you got that free, and then there's a little rubber grommet right here. You'll push in, okay, and then push this side in too, and boom, the whole thing falls down. Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do? Uh, some people use a pry bar. You don't have to. I mean, you just pull these edges right here, and there's a clip here, here, and here. I, I mean, you can. You just pull that sucker out and the clips are going to be fine. Then you're going to have to take, I believe it's a seven millimeter socket and you'll undo these. Um, I'm doing this all one handed by the way, so that'll be much easier. And then you'll take these screws out, put them somewhere where you ain't going to lose them. All right. Okay, once you got that out, this part, there'll be some clips under here too. You just, you're gonna have to kind of pull. <laughs> You'll be all right though. And then pull that out. Be careful not to pull too hard because there's some wires right there. Now this is where it's gonna get a little tricky. I noticed on 2017, I saw some, one of my buddies, saw somebody, saw somebody do it. These wires were longer, so it hung down more, but I got a pigtail that I don't think he had. So mine, mine doesn't hang down as far, but you can look up in there and this honeycomb looking thing is the filter it's inside of that so you go on the edges over here and just pull right there and there's one on the other side and you pull it okay boom take that filter out i've only got 18,000 miles on this one see what it looks like uh it ain't too too bad we'll compare it next to the other one uh like i said i use the ford motorcraft one that's just what i do What's up, Luke? Say hey. So you can see it's a good bit cleaner, you know. 15, 16 bucks. I mean, I don't care. I'll change it out. Uh, but anyway, that goes in there just like that. And you're going to do the same thing. Just doing this one handed now. And this one's going to. Oh, son of a. Doing the same thing. I'm going to put the phone down for a minute and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I uh, got the cover. I got the filter in there, I had to use two hands. Now it's just simple as putting the, uh, the cover back on, if I can see up in this sucker. And then clipping it. All right, it's clipped. And then, you know, you'll just line, there's a clip over here, 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 and two on this side over here. So just line it up, push the clips back in. Pretty, pretty simple. Some people use a pry bar, I don't. Then you can just, put your screws back in there. I don't ever tighten anything too, too tight because it don't need to be. Uh, a little bit tired and finger tight. All right, so that's in there. Now, remember this piece, there's gonna be three little things right here. You, there, there's gonna be holes in the back. You need to line them up or else it's kind of a pain. Might help if you turn it around, dummy. Put that in there like that. That clips in there. And then you'll probably have to bend the edges back a little bit, like you'll see it. There we go. Once you bend them back a little, there's a little groove that they'll go in and it fits in there perfect. Then, of course, remember your bar. So you pull your bar back out, let it hang down out of the way, push your rubber grommets in so that it can go up. And then put your bar back in the hole when you hear it click you're good to go but uh look guys i appreciate it i'll uh 
pretty simple uh, some people use k and i just use stock one but um i'll put a link to the description on that i did one for my air filter too in the front uh, to amazon where i got it from they're both on amazon prime so if you want to get one you can click it it's my link so uh, i appreciate y'all god bless have a good day